So hi everyone. So hello everyone. I don't know how to how to do that. Uh, I don't know. So hi everyone. My name is Jalise and this is Infinite Modesty Design. I want to thank everyone who is joining me today for this live or anyone who is joining the replay. I always want to make sure that I'm in the Toronto group. I don't know why I can't really see. Um, hey Nella, thanks for joining me. Okay, so I think I am there. So good. All right. So hi, everyone. One more time. My name is Jalise. This is Infinite Modesty Design. Of course, thank you for anyone who's joining me. Um, thank you for everyone who's joining me live right now. I would, um, I'm happy. I'm appreciative that you are joining me. So with a live of the replay, I'm really, really thankful. Um, I want to say who we are, of course. So if you're joining us live and you have no clue who I am, um, we are at Toronto Sewing and Fashion Studio. Or oh, no volume. Interesting. Okay, I don't even know what's going on. So let me put down the volume on my husband's phone. Uh, no volume, no volume. Thank you, Nella. No volume, Stella. Hmm, interesting. I don't even know what's going on here. Okay. Okay, good. Because I wasn't even sure where to start if there was no volume. All right, so we are at Toronto. Thank you, dear. So we are at Toronto Sun and Fashion Studio, and our goal, our mission um, is to um, help you or help our customer, our client, our students to learn the art of sewing and fashion online. Yeah, that's our main goal. Of course, we are located in Toronto. And if anyone is interested in any of our classes, we are going to be dropping our membership class very soon. And I wanted to ask, uh, it's back, so excellent. So I wanted to ask um, a few of my students, you know, if you guys, because I was just, you know, I want to do this, but I wasn't sure if people was interested in, you know, connecting online <laughs> um, once a month on Zoom, and then uh, you join my membership program. And I get a lot of response, so I'm very, very thankful. So thank you for everyone who sent me their, their, their contact privately. So once everything is rolled out, I would message you. You probably would get message from me from time to time itself but once everything is um is i have a link where you could go and see what the program is all about and see how you how you could actually get started um i would send it out for sure okay so thank you for so much for all who respond and i probably would send the message out again and hopefully um more people would respond all right one thing i want to say just before i start um i have something excited today of course <laughs> Because I like, I was always, you know, contemplating, you know, why every time when I have, uh, you know, a live, everyone want to know, like, how many fabric, how many this, how many that, where we have garments, we have old clothing in our own house that we could use to make so many projects. So I'm excited um, about recycling our clothing. I'm excited for that. I'm very, very excited. So we're going to be doing a recycle pro um, project tonight, of course. Okay, so one thing I want to say, guys, I am a Christian by the grace of God, not because I was born into Christianity, nothing like that. I get to know Jesus Christ because I, I, there was a lot of difficulty was happening to me that no one could really help me spiritually. And then I decided, you know, if this man Jesus was real, I really want to know him. And I went on a search to seek for him in praying and reading the scriptures and eventually showed me that he was real. Guys, Jesus Christ is real. And one of the best things you could get to do for yourself before you leave this earth is to get to know him as your personal lord and savior now you may say you know what now i'm not into this you know what everyone have a smartphone like i'm using my smartphone right now you could definitely download the bible on your smartphone start listening to the word of god i am telling you especially in this pandemic that is one of the great benefits you could actually do for your own soul so my mission, of course, is to let you know that Jesus Christ loves you. And one of the greatest things you could do for your own soul is to get to know him as your personal Lord and Savior. 
all right guys thank you again for joining me for those who are joining me live just kindly say hi kindly say um I, i'm hi I, i'm here this is um jalees from toronto it doesn't matter if you join me 10 times just say hi this is jalees from toronto give us a like give us a thumbs up if you are on our um facebook page kindly help me share the live all right so for some reason i'm not seeing the chat in the toronto group so I would all hi claudia so thank you Stella, um, Carmel, and Deya, thank you. Uh, so basically just Bible.com, I think, but Sheila, well, I could actually always send it to you. I think it's Bible.com or something like that, but I'll definitely um, send it to you um, for, sh for sure, for sure. Hey, Hillary, thanks for joining me, and Via Lopez and Lavita, thank you guys so much for joining me. All right, so if anyone is here, so you see Nella say hi from Toronto, excellent. So Tiffany say hi, and where you connecting us from, girl? So even though you have been on my life so many times, still say hi, where you connecting us from? And give us a like, give us a thumbs up, share our, our, our live if you are on our Facebook page. All right, so we have so many different classes. We have beginners classes coming up. We have a skirt making class. So I'm just going to tell you guys about our skirt, gather skirt making class. We should have a gather skirt standalone class coming up next Friday for those who are interested in the class. Um, definitely, um, if you are interested, we would have an information session tomorrow um, where we'll talk more about the classes we have coming up. All right, including our membership class, we'll have a, uh, we'll have a, maybe a, a short discussion of how it would run and stuff like that. All right, so if anyone interested in any of our classes, whether private classes, one-on-one -on -one classes, group classes. Uh, membership classes you could definitely contact us for one six seven four two nine nine three one all right or just uh, send me a message jalice jerome at gmail.com just as how my name is on facebook um, at gmail.com all right guys so we have some um so along tonight we're gonna be making a simple bag from one of my nursing um blouse so hey sister Effie, thanks for joining me virginia thanks for joining me hillary thanks for joining me so virginia um from trinidad nice thank you so tiffany from um the u.s uh louisiana uh uh louisiana okay i hope i pronounced it right okay nice <laughs> suzanne from uh, union island excellent very very nice all right very very nice thank you guys for joining me so i'll read the chat as i go along so guys i have this blouse so for those who don't know i am a nurse also by profession a registered practical nurse in toronto I am not actively doing any nursing duty right now, but I have some nursing um, uniform that I don't really use much. So this is one of my nursing uniform. I don't really use much. It actually has a pocket in here. So I am going to actually take this and make it into a grocery bag, a simple, simple, like one, two, three, simple bag. And one of the things, like I said earlier, that I want to do that is because when I have, you know, the free classes, I was just having free classes and telling people the measurement, telling people this and that, I realized that sometimes we have so many clothes, clo old clothing in our house, whether our kids' clothes, our husband, our own, and then we could use it to make so many different things, right? So the idea came about and said, you know what, I even have so many, so many clothes and I have so many fabric, like, let me just hold the fabric for a while and let me just use some of the old clothes that I want to get rid of and actually recycle it. Because once I'm getting rid of them, it's actually going back in landfill and causing, you know, a lot of a lot of chaos. So let me just do something positive. So that actually where the thought come from. So for tonight, I will be making this. I'm just gonna take this blouse. So guys, I'm not. I don't have a definite measurement, but I'm gonna give you the measurement as I cut it out. My point is, it's not that we had a we had to get. You know, the bag is this length or that length. Just take one of your old clothes. You could model what I'm doing tonight. And of course, you could actually do one for yourself. As you see, this is a blouse. I think some of us have shirt, blouse, whatever the case may be, right? You could sim simple, simply do that. So, uh, we're also going to ask some questions tonight. So, some um, sewing questions. I realize um, some people have benefited from the question and answer session, so which is excellent. So, Susan from Union Island, thank you for joining me. All right. So, and also we have some free fabric which i'm going to talk about it as i go along and we have some zippers on sale as well so i am what i'm going to do with this blouse now i'm going to actually draw a line and cut under the arm so this is the back of the blouse i'm going to cut under the arm here so if you don't if you don't if you're not falling out if, sorry if you're not doing anything on the live tonight you could actually do something after of course 
Now, beside my blouse I have here, I have a strap. And I'm going to show you what I use for the strap. So this is my straps here. So I take one of my top again. <laughs> right? So this is actually with a top I made long, long, long time ago. And I, this, like this, this, this is the sleeve. So you know what? I'm going to, from, I think I'll make some dolly clothes for my, my daughter. She have a doll and she always wants me to make clothes. So all the straps. So this is a top I take. And... Some other part of the top is somewhere and I decide to make straps right so this is I have two straps for the, for the back because you want your handle when you put in those heavy groceries in the back you want a good handle right so this is what I did here so hi Belinda thanks for joining me this is my strap here so the length of the strap so if anyone want to follow along and if you want to write it in the chat that's fine the length of my strap here is the length of my strap, let's say we have about 30, so 30, 30, 30 what, 30 what? Let's say about 34, let's say the length is 34 because we have to go half an inch in, half an inch in. So 34 is the length of my strap and I have two straps, okay? So I have two straps. Now the width of my straps now is about four inches and I'm gonna show you how I prepared. So the width of my straps here is about four inches, yeah, about four inches roughly. So how I prepare this strap, guys, what I did first, I ironed half an inch on this side here. So I have half an inch iron on this side. And then I iron half an inch on this side, right? So half an inch iron on this side, half an inch iron on this side. Then I close it in the middle. So it would come like, like a really nice strap itself like this. So Tiffany said, I love using uh, pre-made nylon straps. Okay, very, very nice. At least... Um, at least it's easier. It's uh, still going to cut um, fabric and do that. I like that, um, an, an Nyla. Um, uh, Tiffany. Yes, of course you could use. So you don't also always have to make your own strap. But because I have some more clothes, I could easily make the strap, right? But as she says, she used um, she used um, uh, pre-made nylon straps. Okay. So for the straps now, so just to explain one more time, I fold it in here, half an inch, half an inch, and I fold it in half, and then I iron it down. And I think this was a little bit too short. I even add extra fabric to make it as long as this, right? So I just use scraps all the way home. All right. So I'm going to put this aside. And I am going to make a line on this now. So I had my ruler um, somewhere around. Okay, let me just, I had a ruler right in my eyeball. And then, oh yes, here I got it. Okay, so Donna say from uh, so Donna from um, Mississauga originally from um, Pitimatnik, Grenada. Yay! So I am from Grenada as well. For those who didn't know, I'm from originally from the Caribbean. A lot of people think I'm from Africa, which is fine because I'm married an African, so it kind of just it kind of just help the situation out there. Okay, so I'm gonna make a line here and I'm gonna cut it down. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna ask a question, guy. I'm gonna ask if anyone know what is interfacing. So if anyone know what is interfacing or ever heard of the term interfacing and what is the use of interfacing? Like what do you use interface for? If anyone know what is interfacing? Okay, let me get a good scissors. So that would actually work better for me. So come here. So if anyone know what is interfacing, uh, so I'm just giving a ghetto cut here. So I'm going to cut it out. And then once I'm sewing it, I'm going to let you guys see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to cut it out here. All right, so now I have this here. <laughs> you see, so I cut it out underneath the, the armpit itself, right? All right, so this is it here. And then this is my front here. So guys, like this is not the best looking, um, after you wait how many times, the best looking um, fabric. But the goal is that you're not going to be throwing it out. You're going to be using it to actually to put your groceries in, right? That's the goal right now here. Okay, so let me just see the Toronto chat if anyone is messaging me there. All right, no worries there. Okay, so interfacing. Anyone know what is interfacing? All right, so I'm seeing some answer coming in. So, Belinda, you need a dressmaker. Yeah, so that you know what, Stephanie? Yes, girl, that would be even a good apron. You see, now even more ideas coming in. So I'm making a live bag, and Tiffany just told me that this could even make an apron front. So you see, ideas coming in. 
So I have this extra here. I'm going to figure out what else I'm going to do. This is the top part. So I'm going to figure out what I'm going to be doing with it right now. Okay, so if anybody can answer, continue answering here. So I see here Yama Trini in the house. All right, there you go. Thank you for joining me. Thank you so much. So I have more than one Trini in the house, so which is good. All right, so this is how it is here. So what I'm going to do here now. All right, so let me see. So I need a dressmaker. So Belinda, you need a dressmaker. You need to come and take my dressmaking class. That's what we have right now online. Um, we use interfacing to make things stronger and more durable. Yes, so Tiffany said that. So excellent answer, guys. And I'm going to show you guys what, what I have some interface here. So it is used to make fabric um, stable so that Nella say that. Um, all right. Thank you, Stella. Thank you, Stella, so much for that. Excellent. Okay, so guys, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna seal the bottom. So I'm gonna just seal the bottom here because this is the this is the, the neat part. Actually, you know what? I could make this for the top, but because the, the pocket is there, I don't want to make it um upside it down. So this would be here, the cut part here, it would be the, the top part of my of my bag. So what I would do, because I'm just doing this quick and easy DIY. This is not no um big set of thing. I want to show you how simple this could could uh, could be. So I am gonna double fold this and just uh, do a hem, okay? So this is how it is right now because I just cut the raw edge. So I'm just gonna do a double fold, just a nice little double fold, right? Well, double fold, once I go on the machine, I'll double fold it and then I'm gonna seal the edge itself, all right? So that's the first thing what I'm gonna do. Now, because the inside of this is already surged clean, if you cut in your garment and it's not it's not like clean on the inside that's perfectly fine you're just making it itself for um but in most garments you would have your inside of the garment all surge clean and nice right so at least you don't have to go and and, and uh, invest in a surge i do have a surge here but i don't think i'll use it on this live anyway but at least on the inside is, is really nice so let me go ahead and just double fold this here okay so interfacing is used for sewing uh or um especially in waistband to give um, style and stiffness excellent all right fantastic so all the answers that come in is very very correct so interfacing is it gives your garment structure it gives your garment stability it really really helps um in garment construction fantastic okay so i'm just gonna sew down this here thank you my sister i appreciate it <laughs> all right so i'm hoping that you can see i'm just gonna so this is not for you to see everything what I'm doing. It's just because I am on the live here. Then you could just see me at least sewing it down. So I'm just going to sew this down. Hopefully I have, um, hopefully I have this. All right. So well said guys. Really, really like that. Okay. So some of the things we could use interface for, of course, is for waistbands. You could use interface for different, different projects. You could use interface for collar right your um the collar your neckline for plackets so if you don't know what placket is um your shirt placket your um cuff placket you could also use interface for um for lapel jacket when you have a, a jacket you put it on the lapel of, of the jacket the the part that flip over is called the lapel make give it give your garment really nice structure so very well said so I have some interface and I'm going to actually show you guys in a bit. Let me just sew this down and then we're going to chat in a little bit. So I'm just sewing down the edge, just pretty much cleaning it out. So I'm not doing any straight stitch because, because I'm on the live. I want to make sure that this just go um, accordingly and just to show you that you don't, you don't have to spend a whole heap of time doing this, doing this project. Okay. So my machine is moving, moving, moving here. All right, so I am just hemming this right now. So if you're on my Facebook page, guys, help kind of help me share the live. Would really, really appreciate that. Uh, you could say hi, give it a like, give our live a like, thumbs up if you if you find value in sewing in general, and you can help us share. Say hi and tell us where you're from. Okay, so I'm almost done here. So you wouldn't see pretty stitching here, guys. You're not going to see anything pretty here. Because I'm just trying to do it um, 
All right, there you go. Put this up here. Okay, good stuff. All right, guys. So this I just there's no pretty stitching here. I just hem the the edge. So this is the edge I just cut out, right? Okay, and then this now is my. This is how it is for now. So apparently my 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 tote bag gonna have a pocket. So you have two pockets in front. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna turn this wrong sides and then i'm gonna seal the bottom see the bottom of my of my of my nursing blouse here so i'm gonna seal this down on the side and i'm gonna seal it down on this side as well right i'm gonna seal it down okay so before we do that i just want to show you guys some different type of interfacing so this is one of the stiffer type of interface this really really good for project this is not like uh, not um, uh, you cannot sew it on. Uh, sorry, you can iron it on on your garment. You could actually have to um, to sew it on to stitch it on. So this is one of the interface I use for some project. We also have one interface I use for dress making. So like for instance, you know, let's say this dress or something. I'll put I'll put interface in the dress to give it nice structure to make it look fabulous. Let's put it like that. Less homemade and more couture style. All right, so this is it here. So this uh, interface now is adhesive. So when I say adhesive, it means that you have to iron the interface on on the garment in order to um, to get that beautiful structure. So this is a very good interface. One part of the interface is very nice and soft, and the other part, of course, is a little bit rough because it has glue on that interface. All right, another interface I have, which I have a lot of this, I actually sell this. If you can't find any interface, if you can't find this in the store, like for instance, if I don't have enough of this sort of dressmaking interface, I use like two or three layers of this kind of interface. Again, this one is a very light and flimsy interface, but it works really well, depends on the project you're doing. You just double or triple iron the interface on the garment to get, the, get your, um, your project well made. So this is some of the project of course you could use like if you're making a little nice little cute purse right you could also put interface to make to give your purse a nice structure that's one of the beauty about interfacing so we have also interfacing on sale we sell them for five dollars a yard i would have a link eventually on my maybe couple of live coming up to show you guys how you could buy interface if you should be interested in our interfacing all right so very well so for those who answer the question excellent i love sewing but sewing don't like me why <laughs> why uh <laughs> so also for belting yes that's true um uh, belinda thanks for joining me why are you not getting along with your surgeon stephanie i don't like to hear that i don't like to hear that at all all right okay so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna ask another question but i'm gonna go ahead and seal the bottom down so this bottom of my blouse now that would be the bottom of my bag itself all right so thanks for all who answered. So if anyone know what is a dart, or what is the use of a dart? Have you ever, ever heard the term? Because one of my beginner had asked this question, and it was a very, very interesting question, and I thought to bring it up. So anyone know the word dart? So D-A-R-T-S in sewing, and what is it used for? Ah, you are welcome, sister. You are so welcome. <laughs> what is it used for? Dart. So D-A-R-T-S. I don't. Know if anyone ever heard the term darts and give me some um sewing use why would why would i um apply a dart in my garment what is the purpose so i'm just gonna sew this down again hopefully you can see that here so i'm hoping everyone could see my um sewing here so i'm just sitting the bottom down i don't have to see the whole part of the garment Okay, I'm hoping that my thread didn't uh, finish. I think it did. Let's see here. So this is alive. I want everything to be on point. Yeah, my thread actually just cut. So let me just put it back in here. And hopefully I don't get any, any headache with this tonight. So the question, the other question I have for anyone who um, are familiar is darts the term darts in sewing if anyone know what is a dart or what is the purpose of a dart in your garment all right so let me start back again hopefully everything goes smooth this time okay put this here then I'm gonna pivot and turn for the bottom now 
All right, so. There you go. Okay. So almost to close the bottom. All right. So I seal the bottom now and we'll see what happened now. Okay, so Sanchez, so let me see. I see some answers. So darts. What are you making? Oh, so Belinda, I'm making a, a fabric tote bag. I'm making a little fabric tote bag. So with my with my nursing and blouse. So guys, I, this is the bottom of the bag now. I'm gonna actually do um, a box the corner for the bag. So this is just the bag itself here so far, right? So for those who ask me what I'm making, I'm making actually uh, just a little grocery tote bag from one of my old nursing um, blouse. All right, so that's what I'm making. So the dots are done to uh, to close to the garment, okay? Um, to pro to provide shape to the garment. All right. So thank you for that. Uh, give give from to the blouse or to or to the skirt, okay? So give firmness. I, I, I think Sandra is saying here. All right. So Nella said to um, provide shape to the garment. Excellent. So dots are done to close on the garment, okay? I'm not sure close, but I, I think I have an idea what you're talking about, um, uh, Belinda. So thank you for the answer. So Sandra said, uh, give form. So I know form is to the blouse and to the skirt. Fantastic. So can extend it after and also to shape it. All right. To give shape to the garment. Wonderful answer. It could also be used to take in a pants or a skirt. There you go. So all these answers are fantastic. It can also be used to take in. Okay, excellent, excellent. All right, all right. So dot so far. So hey, uh, Godivia, thanks for joining me. So Godivia said dot will shape and reduce excess um, fabric off the garment. That's true. It is to um, personalize sizing. Very nice. So very fantastic answers. So yes. Yeah, so dot gives shape, couture, structure to the garment. And you know the cool thing about darts as well in your garment, you could always use the darts to. Um, to uh let, let's just put it like to invent a new style <laughs> let's just leave it like that you could also from the dark you could create something fantastic something fantastic like a new garb a new style from the dark line so well said everyone thank you so much for that so i'm asking this question um because i know it would help um a lot of people uh who love sewing now maybe, maybe they never heard the term dots before right so thank you so much guys for for answering the question really appreciate it okay so i'm boxing the corner now i'm not i'm not actually following any stick measurement um but i just want to box the corner and hopefully everything come out smooth i'm hoping so i'm ready to hoping so okay so let me just explain what i'm doing here so this is the inside of my bag now uh, this is the inside of my bag so i'm gonna read so uh, donna said so this is the inside of the bag this is the bottom of my bag Okay, guys so this is the bottom of my bag this is the opening of my bag so I am gonna do what I'm doing right now I'm just boxing the corner to give it a nice little shape so instead of leaving the corner sh uh, square I'm gonna box the corner so let me see actually how it looks because I didn't even do any measurement whatever uh, it's supposed to come out okay so this is how it come out so actually I'll, I'll do a deeper box because I yeah I'll do a, a deeper box because the fabric is so thick here so I'm gonna do a deeper boxing. Let me just rip this out a little to give this a little bit more. Um, yeah, just loose this out part a little. Okay, there you go. All right, and I'm gonna box the other side as well. I'm gonna trim this down. So I'm just boxing the corner. So thanks for joining me, everyone. For those who joining me um, right now, thank you so much for joining me. We are at Toronto Sword and Fashion Studio. Our goal is to help build your skill in the area of sewing and fashion. If you are joining me on my Facebook page, kindly help me share the page. Say hi, where you're connecting with us from. We are doing a live uh, grocery bag from one of my old nursing blouse to show you that instead of throwing your garment out, you could actually take it and recycle it and make something brand new. Well, yeah. And save landfill. There you go. All right. So let me see how that looks. 
And for some reason, my, my um, thing just stopped here. Okay, so this is it. All right, so that will shave and reduce. Okay, uh, that's for go, uh, go de ver. So that's our fold or tux. So tux is another term, Donna, but thank you. So that's our fold or tux sewn into fabric to take in ease and give shape to a garment. So dart is one terminology, tux is another terminology, but thank you for that, Donna. All right, so God if I say, <laughs> thank you, my dear, really appreciate it. Okay, so let me see if my, um, my thing work out here, my box corner, let me see here. Because I didn't do any uh, measurements, so I'm hoping it did come out really, really nice. Some of them I measured like one and a half inch, two inches down. One of them didn't come out that great, but the other one actually did. So this is how the box corner are gonna be, like nice and boxy here. All right, so my bag is almost done. Now we're supposed to be ironing the bag and all that. So you see the, the, the box corner on the side here of the bag? So that's pretty much how it is. Uh, this is the other side here, right? So I just box the corner of the bag. So now we're supposed to put on a fantastic strap. And remember I gave you the measurement for the strap, it's like 30 something, and then this is how I, I prepare it. So it's there earlier part in the video. So I am gonna decide now, I'm gonna open my, my bag like this. Put that here. I don't even know. Okay. Uh, sorry. So I'm gonna open my bag like this. Okay. So this is my strap now, and this is how, I'm just gonna pin it down to show you how we're gonna put our strap on our bag. And I'll make it like a couple inches down, right? So our goal here, guys, is to, as I was talking about the membership coming up and people have shown interest, so this is something like this. We're going to be looking at our bag, right? So of course, it won't be like an all fully um, structured bag because, you know, we just kind of whip up something and, and, and try to do something quick for my, for my camera here, right? So but let me just measure this down because we all want to, make sure that everything is, is 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 done very nice okay so i'm gonna ask another question about measurement now what are some of the basic measurements let's say you want to make a garment for someone what are some of just the basic measurements you need i want to say basic measurement i need um height bus so just to give you an idea so what are some of the basic measurement you need um to make i don't know a skirt a blouse whatever I want at least the top three basic measurements. So if anyone know the top three basic measurements, uh, let me see, it's four and a half. I'll measure it four and a half. So four and a half here, and I'll make it down. So four and a half here. So I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm doing in a bit. I'm just gonna measure it to make sure I have everything right. So four and a half, and about uh, four inches down. Yeah, I'm just gonna put four inches down. So if you're taking a basic measurement for someone and you had to make them a skirt, for instance, or a blouse or a dress, what are some of the th what is the three top basic measurements you would need in order to make the garment? Yeah, so what are the three top measurements? For instance, Govana, let's say I'm making a skirt. I will need the waist measurement, right? So I give you guys one. I want three top um three top uh, measurement. That you would need so i say waist so that's one what are the other two top measurements that you would need i mean all the measurements are important guys but what are the three top you would actually need if you're making a dress for instance for someone like the, the like those one that you just have to um or let's say you're reading you're, you're working from a pattern envelope a pattern envelope itself what are the, the three top measurement that is on a pattern envelope i think that's that's more a durable question to ask there All right, so waist, hip, boss. Okay, so Donna said waist, Donna said hip, she said boss. Um, so hey, um, Miss Pat, thank you for joining me. Thank you so much for joining me. So hips, so uh, Virginia say uh, waist, hips, length, all right. So if you're making a skirt, you need the length of the skirt, depends on the skirt, all right. So Patricia say top, boss, um, whole length, all right. <laughs> A lot of them coming in, so I'm, like, I'm loving this. So Susan says shoulder, length, waist. Govana say upper boss, waist, hip. All right. I love those answers. Okay. So let me just show you guys what I'm doing right now. So this is my bag and I'm just actually putting the strap for my bag right now. 
okay so what i did for the bag here the measurement actually i said i was going to tell you guys the measurement but then again i just you know pull out something right so the measurement i have here for my bag i'll i'll give an additional one inch so 23 wheat by 23 wheat now by 23 wheat let's say 23 by 17 height so this bag is 23 wheat by 17 height based on what i cut out from my from my um from my blouse itself okay so the measurement the question we have right now for those who are participating is i want to make a dress or i want to make a skirt or whatever the case may be but what i want now is a top three measurement um that you you just have to get those three measurements now all the measurements are important but i just want one of the top three that you probably would see on a pattern envelope for instance all right so um belinda say boss waist shoulder neckline length <laughs> sleeve all right there you go all right um so let me just see here oh okay so top boss armhole length so that's patricia thank you for that and so claudia said length width <laughs> so yes it's a bag i'm making it gives you your clothes nice professional look yep that's 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 what's for the dark thank you thank you there so length and um width all right so Govana, give me an answer and lisa lisa joseph thank you for joining me lisa so good night everyone so she said good night to everyone thank you my dear okay so the bag the the width of my strap here now i'm coming in like what how am i coming in here like four inches probably is it four inches i come in here i come in and decide uh okay five inches so i'm just gonna leave it five inches so five inches and four inches down let me pin it down i'll show you what i'm doing and this bag is almost done guys to be honest with you so about four inches down oh yeah about four inches down four inches down all right so thank you guys so anyone who's joining me live can you help me share the live we also have some free fabric to give away and also we have zippers um so with the zipper if you are interested in in, uh, in getting some fabric we will give you some of the fabric for free um of course once you buy this 30 dollars worth of zipper and the zippers are long 16 inches to like 30 something inches they are very long zipper roughly you, you get three dollars for, for the zipper so this is so this is what the bag um look like of course when you have it in like i said it's a grocery bag right so we ain't looking at no fancy um a couture bag a bag from your own clothes and the good thing is that once you go to the grocery store you have your your pockets to put your extra something something in there this is the back of the bag okay all right so let me just seal the bag down now and then we will talk a little bit more all right so so um govana says shoulder back measurement shoulder to shoulder measurement shoulder to bust measurement shoulder to, ah there you go girl you got it all so one of the main measurements we want, at least on the pattern envelope, like I mentioned, I'm just going to refresh the pattern envelope, mostly the bust, the waist, and the hip. Those are the other three key measurements, of course, you will see on the pattern envelope. Now, of course, that doesn't mean that's the only measurement you need. Of course, like Govana said, you need shoulder to shoulder measurement, you need shoulder to waist measurement, you need shoulder. To... There's so many, so many, and those who are taking my beginner's class now know exactly, um, know exactly what I'm talking about, <laughs> right, guys? So they know that measurement is not no joke. You had to really take your measurement and get it right. Um, for those who are taking our advanced class, sorry. So we do have an advanced class going on right now. We have some students in the class learning to make dresses, right, online. They're learning to make patterns. They're not buying their own pattern. They're making pattern online. So measurement is key. It's important. It's very, very critical. So thank you so much for all the answers for the measurement. Um, but one of the three top measurements that you just have to get is the bust measurement, the waist measurement, the hip measurement. Those are very critical part of the body. Okay, you don't want to be making something and, you know, you're going to be getting bad reviews if, if, if the bust is too, if you didn't take the bust measurement right or, you know, something like that. The hip measurement, again, is like a critical, critical part. And last education I want to give about that is that when you're taking the bust, the waist, or the hip measurement depends depends on, on the on the on the on the waist. But for the the bust measurement and the hip measurement, you want to have at least two finger leeway to make sure that you get enough room that when you're sewing the garment now everything come out nice and pretty. 
well there's more um, from for just saying that simple right but you want to have at least two finger in your measurement when you're taking the bust the waist and the hips mainly the bust and the and the hips depends on the garment you're doing if it's the waist if you're making a skirt well you don't really need two finger in right but um all depends on what you're making okay guys so let me just wrap up with finishing the bag here i'm just gonna sew the strap down so you could actually see the last outcome and then we'll talk a little bit more so i'm just gonna do like a couple of sewing here so again this is a live so it didn't come out straight at least you know it is what it is the goal of what i'm doing is guys is just to ensure that we could actually take some of the 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 the, the um the clothing we have lying around in our house and make something out of it you don't always have to get um, a, a brand new fabric in order to make stuff to make a project to make a bag like last week i make a um a laundry bag it wasn't fancy but at least we make it out of out of one of my old something right and a tip i want to get give everyone as well is that and this is a tip i think i gave to when i just started my class i was giving tips to my um my in-studio class so for if anyone never heard it um, from me before, take note of this. Sometimes, you know, when you want a new zipper, you want a new button, you want a new something, you go to the dollar store, you go to the thrift store. Guys, listen, a lot of your old clothes that you have that you're throwing out, you're throwing away zippers, you're throwing away buttons, you're throwing away hooks and eyes, all those things. If you rip them out and you keep them, that would be... The, yes, Govana. Excellent. So that's the easing. Fantastic. So that is the easing, guys. The boss and the waist. Um, that two finger easing you put in there. Fantastic. So thank you, Govana, for that. So yes, guys. So if you are make, if you have like old clothing, you know that now you could actually look at them to start making project, especially if you love sewing. If you don't love sewing, you're like you wouldn't really care about those clothes. But one of the good things you could actually do as well. I do that all the time. Um, and I do that like if I, if I have things like I, ha I have a lot of product like a dollar zipper whatever and sometimes I still take away take this the, the buttons off of my old whatever the button the zippers the hooks and I because all those things if you're making a brand new garment you're gonna be going and bite in the store right so instead of going to bite in the store you already have it you don't want that clothes now you're not gonna be throwing out that clothes you'll be making project with those clothes of course once you sign up for our membership class and we'll talk about that of course uh, more and more and more in our membership class you'll be using all your old clothing and make projects that's for sure but guys that's a tip we go to the to the um, to the store all the time we buy zipper we buy maybe button we buy this we buy that and sometimes it's in the clothes that you just throw away to goodwill you just throw it away and you go buy more brand 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 new zipper brand new this brand new that so my point is that guys let's utilize and um use what we have use the resource that we have i mean i know it sounds ghetto because you know i mean i'm in the, i'm in canada like why am i back home girl i'm telling you listen something we'll be saving landfill so much by just doing those simple simple things and that is our mission here i'm uh, moving forward okay guys so hi victoria um thank you for joining me there really really appreciate you joining me um i'm doing my laundry bag <laughs> No, oh, I'm so excited! You know what? You have to just send me, uh, send me a video, girl. Send me a video. So last week we did, uh, we did a laundry bag, and she's doing a laundry bag from one of her old clothing. So I'm excited to see that, um, uh, Belinda. I'm very, very excited to see that. Excellent. All right, so guys, I'm almost finished. So don't mind me talking, talking. Now. I'm almost finished here. I just want to show you guys the the final outcome. Um, so top blouse. All right. Let me just see if anyone is in the Toronto group here. It gives your clothing a nice profession. okay thank you so hi Sadie how you doing today thank you for for joining me tell me where you're joining me from excellent and again guys if you are on our Toronto sewing page kindly help us share the live that would be nice all right so thank you so give yourself a round of applause for all those who've been answering the question very very nice save all my my jean my blue jeans okay all right that economical um, saving on cost exactly um yes uh, princess that's for sure i'm using old shirt to uh, make my quilting okay fantastic yes guys let's go ahead and use those things that we have we're throwing it out to goodwill hoping that we can you know we're giving it for free and then of course they're making money and then they go back in landfill and i don't know or they just throw out what they don't want and so on and so on let's utilize what we have 
let's do it uh what we have you know what the funny thing is that covid came and and we never thought that that you know all of a sudden we will be living the kind of life we live in now right so sometimes we just have to go back to basic let's use what are the things that we we are privileged in this country that would save you know some of us i won't, I won't say everybody um but those who are privileged to at least have an old shirt that's the privilege i mean or have a sewing machine or even have needle and thread let's utilize the little things that we have and um save our landfill let's put it like that all right guys excellent okay so i'm almost done here so i have another question here mm. okay so anyone i'm kind of going a little bit a little bit higher now it's a little bit higher now i don't know if anyone know the terminology cut unfold and what is it what what does the symbol mean just cut and fold yes i know it it means this that that that's pretty much it cut and fold in sewing cut and fold in sewing anyone ever heard the terminology cut on the fold? oh cut and fold or oh, the symbol sorry cut and fold let us know all right guys almost 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 done here I'm just sewing the last strap and I'll give you guys the measurement again um, for those who may want to kind of try something and the thing is guys you don't have to it doesn't all the time you have to have a measurement for this one measurement just try something like I said I did right here just try something it will come out just fine so anyone ever heard the term cotton fold or maybe that's a, a strange thing I'm saying right now <laughs> All right. Okay. So let me just ask another question. If if I'm not getting any answers, uh, what is the importance of back stitching uh, when you're sewing? Back stitching. What is the what is the importance of back stitching your garment when you are sewing? What is the importance of back stitching your garments when you are sewing? No, only uh, in baking, no. <laughs> okay. So, cut on fold. Oh, so there's a cut on fold in baking. Well, I never know that. Is, is that true, Belinda? I didn't know that. That's okay. That's okay. So, in our advanced class, our, 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 um, all right. So, Tiffany says, so, so the importance of, okay. So, um, uh, so uh, Lisa, hold on. I'm gonna give you. So we didn't. I'm, I'm not gonna. We now use. A, we didn't use a, a definite measurement to say measurement, but I, I'm gonna show you what we used. Okay, guys. So my bag is done. Finito, finito, finito. So let me just show you guys what we just did, guys. Like, hello, 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 hello. So this is our. This is our bag. Of course, let me see if I could just put out put my pillowcase in the bag. Mm hmm yes man i'll put my pillowcase in the bag so at least we can give it a little bit more structure so you can see what i'm talking about for my bag so this is a bag we just created of course we're not looking for a couture style here we just want to make sure that we do something let me just fix it here of course you're supposed to iron it and all that to make sure it's, it's, it's you know it's really nice so this is our bag it says all right so i'm gonna answer in a bit so this is our little bag we just made here and with this is our straps everything nice you put your groceries in there you put your uh, interface in, in here you put your sewing supplies in here you know what I mean like I'm just gonna put all my something in my little bag you hang it up this could also be like a your sewing bag as well you have it in, in your little um, sewing closet you make it out of one of your old clothing right so hala like hello you know what I mean so there we go there we go okay so let me just see some of our answers here um all right so uh it, to lock the stitch so tiffany said to lock the stitch so the important of back stitching is to lock the stitch definitely so donna say cut the fabric folding especially for okay so that's that's for cotton fold um donna thank you thank you so does it so it doesn't loose so that's for the back stitching um uh, Belinda said so it doesn't lose okay back stitching help prevent um, that thread from coming out of, of the garment excellent princess thank you for joining for, for letting me know um, thank you for that so Donna said back stitch is used to hold a stitch so it doesn't um, come 
will come out and uh, come apart uh, it secures the stitch fantastic so back stitching is to close the seam permanently there you go fantastic guys so for those who have no idea and thinking well sewing is just you know what let me just get a piece of cloth and just cut a bad outfit and that's the end of the story it ain't happening like that guys there are so many terminology to learn in sewing there are so 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 many things you could actually learn there is there, there is a um there is a post that says sewing is just one percent sewing there's a like i don't know 33 percent um sewing and all the rest is, is learning terminology so yes guys this is our bag that we just finished all right very simple you could put all your stuff in there you know for my nursing bag so let me explain for those who asked me the measurement i didn't take a definite measurement all right so what i did here guys so this was my blouse this was my blouse here i'm just gonna recap again for those who want to talk want to ask about um this was my blouse my nursing blouse i just cut it under the arm that's all i did cut it under the arm and then this is the under the arm piece here and i made a strap so my strap i made it from another um fabric that i have here yeah, just cut a strap right the strap is like 33 i think 30, 30 33 i think let me just see if i get my um my thing here anyway i met, i mentioned it earlier the, the goal is that we didn't really follow a measurement it's whatever my bag whatever my blouse width was and whatever i get from the bottom of the blouse i just decide to put it together guys okay so that's pretty much what i did here so look beautiful who could know a scrap would make such a beautiful shopping bag yeah so I have missed what measurement was the So again, um, Lisa, so thank you again. So guys, you realize there was, you remember when I, I have a private group and I said, you know what, uh, um, the measurement is going to be given on the live. So you see, there was no real measurement here. Just take one of your fabric, guys, right? And just play around with the fabric. Don't throw it out. Don't throw the, the, the old garment out. Um, make a strap, simple how to make the strap. Uh, and then you could have it for your sewing bag right you could have it for your shopping bag you could have it for whatever the case may be let's say you the the, the fabric look really really nice it's still clean you could have it as a gift you know what i mean like you don't have to throw it out so that goes our fantastic bag all right so gonna do that too yeah you keep me busy <laughs> so yes belinda that's the actual goal right to keep everyone busy on that machine fantastic so donna said back stitching is used to hold the stitch and it does not come apart okay security so all right so i think i did read that there before fantastic so guys i want you guys to try it out try just try it out i'm gonna try my best to do i'm gonna do my life to do a little project and the reason for me doing the project is for you to use your old clothing that you have um and uh, and just create it into something new so love that bag all right there you go so that uh, was so so beautiful excellent so that mean i want to see bags so if you guys were not in nursing just you could even get your old jersey t-shirt and make a little sweat bag and like i said there's no i, I don't have the measurement oh boy what is the measurement jelly's where's the video listen something the video is live watch the video just don't even think about the measurement just cut as i say under the arm connect it together make a strap connect your bag and you're good to go so for the side of the bag here, what I did, I just came down, um, I came down about four inches down here, just four inches down, and then, and then from the end of the bag here, I go like five inches across here. That's pretty much it, the five inches across here to kind of get my bag. Now, if you're not sure, you could always just use one of your old grocery bag at home, like the ready-made one you buy, and you could just kind of mimic the measurement as well, right? So it's nothing heavy itself. Okay, guys? so i'm hoping that you really like this project give this video a, a live a thumbs up this bag is cute i love the pockets oh yeah it looks i know tell me about it eyelash fashionable <laughs> yes the 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 uh, the pocket make it even pop even there you go like an eyelash i know excellent okay guys fantastic all right so i want everyone to challenge themselves and do a bag for sure for sure so give this video a thumbs up a like a share Please help everyone know that we do have um, sewing classes in Toronto. Now, guys, for those who, um, so thank you everyone for the like and the love. For those who will make one for, uh, for the beach, okay, and put the kids snack towel for the, there you go. I like that, Stella. 
now you're talking my language there you go all right so virginia so uh sadie thank you from virginia usa excellent thank you so much for joining me guys really really appreciate it okay guys so i want to let everyone know about our classes uh, for the membership class so let me know if anyone even though you had answer already let me know in the chat if you would be interested in our membership program okay our membership program this is the kind of thing i want to be doing in our membership program we'll be making stuff from our we'll be looking and searching for our old clothing if it may if you don't have old clothes and you have um, fabric that's perfectly fine but the goal is for us to try to recycle our stuff instead of throwing it out use it and just do something like you know you, you see me do it live i wanted to do it live i could have cut the fabric before but i said you know what let me just do it actually live so people could believe what i'm doing and i'm not just doing it because you know i could sew no 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 i wanted to cut it in front of you to see that you too could do it at home and it's so simple right so i want that's that's the goal for my membership um, program i want to do the membership and we use we, we do a lot a lot of different projects around the home we make purses we make this we make all kind of thing you know me i don't just make dolly clothes and say no no no. i want to make things that we could actually use where our children like and so on and so forth all right so you always inspire uh, that that's the goal and you inspire me too so everyone inspire me because if you guys wasn't responding to my life i would be just here for myself so thank you guys so much for all your support now also the membership we're gonna come on live on zoom no, I, it, the membership sorry the membership is not active as yet i'm just talking about it because i see that's like a a, a more connective way to connect with my with my students um i i've been doing beginners class um, advanced class you know once the class is finished it's finished right but the membership class my goal is to come online um once a month we come on we we talk we do projects or whatever the case may be at least we we always doing something and you know sometimes when you have an accountability you know by the end of the month we, we're gonna connect together you would want to be doing a project you would want to make a bag you would want to make something from 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 our videos because we are coming and connect and chat and laugh so that's my goal moving forward once everything is in place i would um send out an email if, if you are on my email excellent if you're not on my email please um you could drop your email you could send it to me personally if you want um, or you could drop it in the chat no worries and then we could actually when when everything is um is ready to go i would definitely let you guys know for sure all right but for right now guys we do have zippers on sale i'm just want to show you guys what we have we have lots and lots of zipper so i'm just gonna pick up the zipper here because there's so many zipper guys the zippers they are long zippers we have long long zippers we have different length of zippers so the zippers here um, we have like 16 to 30 something. I think this one is, I don't know how long it is. This zipper is here. We have so many zippers. For those who are interested in zippers, this is a 19 inch zipper. We have so many zipper on sale. And then we have lots of free fabric. So anyone buy at least $30 Canadian worth of zipper, we will send you out free fabric. So this is, this is some fabric. Guys, I have so much fabric. That's the thing. I'll just be putting it in one, one bag. I'll put it in one bag. And I think it's about ten dollars sh um, shipping. Um, so excellent. So I'm seeing. Do you have more of that yellow fabric on that dress behind you? Uh, you know what? Um, probably I do. But to be honest, to go look at it right now, maybe you could actually message me personally. I'm not sure. I'm not even sure because I made this dress so long. So for those who are interested in buying zippers, it's thirty dollars um, worth of zipper. It's ten zipper you get. So three dollars uh, for one zipper is long zipper. And then we will send you free fabric. So whatever this bag could hold, we put the fabric in there. So we, this is just some of the fabric we have. If I have like two, three yards, I will cut it. I'll give you a yard plus. I'll give you um, so many different. This is this is pieces of fabric you could make purses. You guys saw I've been making purses. I've been making this. I've been making all kind of all kind of thing. Um, so many different fabric. This this is like a, a, a more like a sweater fabric. We'll be making shawls in our in our membership. Um, thing once we open so I have so many fabric here guys I'm just gonna show you guys some of the fabric here this is just a fraction of the fabric we have we have lots and lots and lots and lots and lots oh let me move that lots of this is just pieces of fabric so many fabric to to give away for those who buy at least $30 worth of zipper if you don't want to buy $30 worth of zipper but you want to buy zipper contact us will definitely um, ship you out whatever amount of zipper you want but if you buy thirty dollars what of zipper then that's where we give you 
that's what we give you um that's what we give you a lot of fabric this is a lot of fabric there's so many so many fabric all over the you know all over there so um yeah there's a lot a lot of fabric so if anyone interested so for, for those who've been asking me for i love the yellow skirt how much is the skirt so if i have to sell the skirt with the fabric and everything it's about 25 125 canadian that's if i have to sell the skirt and that includes shipping and everything um but we have the skirt making class coming up um this coming friday i believe so guys for the zipper we have tons we have red zipper we have blue zipper we have brown zipper we have yellow zipper we have white zipper we have red or burgundy there's we have lots of lots of different different length what we'll be doing is to put at least 10 zipper in a package it's three dollars canadian per zipper we put it in a package for you and we'll be putting free fabric plus um a sewing pattern i forget i forget i think i still have a few more sewing pattern left we'll be giving you a sewing pattern as well in the package and we'll be shipping it out and plus 10 bucks of course to ship it out to your destination all right so that's what we'll be doing okay so let me see if i have anything here i have a few other questions to ask about the sewing machine and then we will we will wrap it's about an hour now we into um just about an hour into let's say your machine's uh, skipping let's say you've been doing stitches and your machine keep on stitching sorry skipping skipping stitch skipping not stitching skipping stitch what would be the possible solution or what would you do if your machine keep on stitching at uh, skipping stitch so skipping skipping stitch any 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 um tips or advice you have for any any newbies in the house your machine keep on skipping a uh, stitch what would you do okay and lastly guys if anyone interested in our um in our beginner intermediate zipper or any classes or any product we have we do have a zoom information session that's for those who are interested in finding out more about our sewing services um we do have a zoom session tomorrow at 12 noon so that's 12 noon tomorrow if anyone interested i will be on zoom i'll send out the link i'll send out the link for if anyone interested in our um uh, sewing classes sewing services skirt class blouse class dressmaking class whatever it is membership class and you want to find out more you want to ask me a question come on board on zoom tomorrow private one-on-one -on -one classes we do have that as well um, come on board on Zoom tomorrow around 12 noon. I will send out a link in, in my sewing group for if anyone will be interested, of course. All right. Good stuff. So I want to see you guys bags for sure. So I love this. Okay. Great, great. So uh, Deva, we could actually talk if you if you want to talk to me about anything personally. That's fine. Um, so we tread the machine, Donna. Excellent. So your, your machine is keeping stitch. So that's one of the things you want to do. So Lisa, but is excellent. You say um, uh, check the tension. Fantastic. That's another option again. So the question we ask here right now, if your thread is keeping, uh, so retread, Claudia said retread it, excellent. Fantastic. So if your uh, machine is keeping stitch, what would you do? Skipping stitch, what would you do? So very, very good answers there. All right. All right, fantastic. So if you could also check, so you could also check to make sure that you're using the right needle. As we talk about it, I think it's last week in our life, make sure you're using the right needle for the right fabric as well. So those are important as well, right? If you're working with a uh, sheer fabric, like for instance, a very thin fabric, you want to make sure you, you, you use a very, um, you don't want to use a, a big a number needle, right? You want to use a needle that is coordinating, of course, with the, with the fabric. All right. Okay. So fantastic. All right, guys, so if anyone here have any question or concern, I want to thank you guys so much for being on my live. I really, really, I'm really, really excited about this. Now, I wanted to show you guys one more thing. For those who have intention of joining our beginners class, intermediate class, even membership class, you need a sewing machine eventually. You could also join our membership class without a sewing machine. You could use needle and thread. However, if you have, um, if you don't have a sewing machine and you want me to recommend a sewing machine for you, for sure, I would recommend a Singer Heavy Duty brand. All right, Belinda, have yourself a wonderful night. Thank you so much. I'm about to leave as well. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me. 
But for those who are a beginner or have a want to find about, about which machine they, they need to buy, Singer Heavy Duty is a very good brand that I use even on my online classes. If you never learned, if you never sewn before, this is the machine you want to buy because I will be holding your hand step by step online to learn the art of sewing and fashion. Lastly, we would be coming out with a sewing party pretty soon. Um, and that would be like a grand, grand sewing party. I know we all love, you know, to do sewing parties. I would be announcing another one. I did say, you know what, I'm not gonna um, uh, do any parties anymore. But actually, when I when I think about it, I can't make one um, situation stop me from doing what I love to do. So eventually, I'll be coming up with a with a sewing party in a couple months ahead. And I would, of course, send out the invitation if you want to sign up and so on and so forth. All right, guys, wonderful. I want to thank you guys so much for your support, and I want to see your bag. I want to see you guys tote bag. I mean, your your grocery bag, please. Just even though you don't make a grocery bag, guys, just make something from one of your old clothes and just throw it in. Make a hair crunchy, make a, a purse that what we make. Like anything that you feel like making it, making it from make it from your um from one of your old clothes and post it. Post it to us so we can actually rejoice with you. Alright, guys, so for anyone who wanna join us tomorrow on Zoom to find out more about our services, kindly join us. I will send out a link for you. Kindly give this um video a like a share a thumbs up share our live let people know that we are in toronto we are teaching online god bless you hope i can join your group excellent so yes you could definitely join our group thank you guys so very much for joining me thank you for belinda donna deva uh, princess victoria um stella uh there's so many names i won't able to to, uh, to call yeah. so thank you guys so much so thank you for for instagram Hi. um uh maureen and uh everyone else that's been joining me and supporting me thank you guys so very much just remember that jesus loves you and i love you very much thank you again for your support have yourself a wonderful night thank you guys bye